It's designed to resemble the Mahali Mountains where they might live. Um, you can see the termite mound, there's a lot of trees to climb on, things like that. So it's a really fun exhibit. So you can see the keepers uh, feeding them now. So she's throwing the food into the exhibit. And this is because chimpanzees are what's under called protective contact, meaning there's always a barrier between the keeper and the animal. For safety purposes, they are large, very strong animals. But this still allows them the opportunity to observe them and to develop a relationship with them. They can still see them. So they're getting a little more than just food. They're getting some enrichment items, some things to play with. So beyond just the exhibit being enriching in itself, they do get some enrichment. I saw some empty corn husks earlier, which means they probably got corn husks filled with some sort of treat. So that's fun. So we're going to be observing their social behaviors, or just their behaviors in general, really, but they're very social animals. And they're very fascinating to watch because if you notice, they look pretty similar to us, a lot more similar than say a tiger or a bear, right? We don't resemble them too much, but chimpanzees look a lot like us and they behave similarly to us as well. So they're kind of easy to relate to on that level. So it looks like those sacks might have something in them. You can see, well maybe you can see the little one by the termite mound is digging in that bag, pulling out some treats. So again, that's an enrichment item. And this is meant to be mentally stimulating, so they kind of have to work a little harder for their food, or it can just be fun, too. So some behaviors to look for, especially during lunchtime, they do share food with each other. So that's one, if you see that happening, you can point it out to me if I don't catch it. So they share food with each other. We can relate, kind of. Sometimes we like to share our food. They also steal food from each other. Maybe we can relate to that, like when you just reach across and like, grab a french fry from a friend. They do steal food. However, you know, only the little ones can get away with that. The older individuals get in trouble if they steal food. You might also see them begging for food. The little ones do that a lot, where they go up to another individual and just stick their face in their face, like, give me your food right up to their mouth. So that's fun. You can see over there, there was a little bit of sharing going on. So these are um, pretty typical behaviors that we see during lunch. You might also see some piggyback rides. So that is um, actually not a mother and her baby. That's actually two youngsters. So we call that alloparenting. And that's a way for them to bond with each other, but also she, the five-year-old, is learning how to be a mom. She's got to learn, right? So she's practicing by kind of babysitting. And they're also, they play together a lot. So you'll see some of that. Pretty cute stuff. Let's see, anything else going on right now? <laughs> yeah, so... I hear someone asking, what do they like to eat? So, what do you guys see out there? What do you see the keepers throwing in? I see a lot of tomatoes. I actually just saw one roll down here. There's another one rolling down. So they eat a lot of tomatoes. They eat beets, sweet potatoes, lots of red and orange stuff. So if you notice that their poop is really bright and colored, it's because of their food. So if it's bright red, don't be alarmed. They also eat a lot of leeks, carrots, so lots of vegetables. They basically eat salad, right? They eat some fruit. <laughs> but the fruit that we have in our grocery store, so like bananas and oranges, they're really high in sugar compared to fruit that you'd find out in the jungle. That fruit's more like our vegetables, so that's why we feed them a lot of vegetables. We don't want them to have too much sugar because they can actually uh, develop diabetes just like we can. And our oldest chimpanzee, her name's Nan. She's 38, but she's turning 39 in four days. So if you're here in four days, make sure to stop by and wish Nan a happy birthday. She is a type 1 diabetic, so she has to get insulin shots every day. So you might wonder how that happens. Like, how do you give a chimpanzee insulin shots, right? But they're all trained using positive reinforcement to do different things that help the keepers care for them. So she's trained to get her insulin shots. 
So during these training sessions is when most of the chimpanzees get their fruit, so it's like an extra special reward for participating in the training sessions where the keepers basically ask them to do something and if they do it, they get that treat. But Nan doesn't get fruit. She gets uh, hard boiled eggs. Uh, can anyone guess what her favorite food is? I haven't seen it out there yet. What's your favorite food? Strawberries? That's a good one. A lot of people like pizza, right? My favorite food is pizza. Her favorite food is green onions. She just kind of munches on them. I wish you guys could see this better. Maybe from over here you guys can, but this little one just has her head in the bag. <laughs> Pretty cute. And then over here against this wall, there's either some begging or some sharing going on. So <laughs> you might see her with the bag now. Her mom just came over to investigate what she's playing with. <laughs> This is cute. So the one with the bag is Kima. She's a five-year-old chimpanzee, and the one chasing her to try to get the bag is her mom, Gracie. She's like, you better share with me. That's pretty fun. I know a lot of them are out of view right now. They're down trying to get food from the from where the keepers throw it, but. That's pretty cute.